Honest J. Nowak. Coming at you live. All right. A pleasure to meet all at last, and welcome back to some more Honest J. Nowak. Here in the second season, I really say, I would really, really say, as a matter of fact, that there's going to be a lot of other things to look forward to. In this exact magnitude, let's get on going back to the notepad, and let's get on with another big subject that I might as well cover on right now. While I'm at it, 757 Legos. Oh yeah. I tell you, we're going all the way here with this one because, well, I guess, let's just say, of all toys that I could have ever possibly talked about, Legos might be one of those where I certainly do have a lot of fond memories with because there have been quite a few sets that you've probably seen before in some ways possible. There have been some videos that I've uploaded to the channel way back in the day, which are now lost, but thankfully because of well, a series that's still ongoing called I Found It First, I've actually been able to slowly revive the forgotten past of my channel, especially between 2008 and 2013, the same year that the blackout period began. So, you'll be able to get to see these videos once again if you've been a long-time subscriber to my channel or a long-time follower of my work in general. So, until that happens though, I mean, I still got a long way to go with a lot of other works that I still have lying around, and as a result of that, I probably won't have a whole lot around here, but until all of this stuff is pretty much cleared up, I will say that Legos as a whole, in terms of, well, being able to talk about it for HJN for the first time, and maybe for the last time, considering what other subjects are also down the line as well, Legos certainly have been quite possibly one of the biggest sorts of building block toy sets that you could possibly spend your money on. And in recent years, it's getting way, way better. With such things out there, including Lego Creator and other sorts of sets out there, sets that are based on licensed franchises, including The Simpsons, Stranger Things, Batman, Indiana Jones, Pirates of the Caribbean, and Star Wars, of course, I tell you. Lego has gone on probably one of the biggest tangents it could have ever possibly done. By crossing over into different licensed franchises out there, it really has, in fact, become quite a bit of a dimensional aspect in popular culture. And yeah, of course, it's quite obvious that it got so big that Lego had actually made their own sorts of video game tie-in based on all of these different crossovers and all that good stuff called Lego Dimensions. The way that they were able to Legoize a lot of these different things out there is just crazy. It is unbelievable. It's also unbelievable to know that, well, there have been a lot of things out there relating to Lego that we've been able to see out there. Lego statues, Lego structures, Lego sculptures, life-size Lego creations that are beyond crazy. Like when you Take a look at Disney Springs, which was back then called Downtown Disney in Walt Disney World, Orlando, Florida. Then there's actually a Lego store down there where in the lake nearby they have an actual life-size Lego sea serpent. Now that is insane. But at the same time they also had themselves a Lego Buzz Lightyear and Woody on the Big One Rocket with RC. Which is also near that building. Plus a plethora of other things out there relating to ginormous Lego creations that would have taken hours, days, weeks, or even months to build. Which, I tell you, with that kind of dedication, a lot of the most hardcore Lego creators of all sorts really do have quite a lot to show for it. I guess what's even bigger is that, well, just to know that I myself have had a lot of things relating to Lego blocks themselves, in which I was able to do a lot of things on the channel relating to Legos, as a matter of fact, there actually was a milestone challenge dedicated to building a large Lego, well, set as a whole with different structures, three separate pieces that I've custom made, pretty much. But in terms of how Legos are going to be doing with 
my channel these days. Once again, I hope to bring back those lost clips relating to Legos, and you know what? I guess that will come along soon enough, but if you want to see more go down on my channel and otherwise, then make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.